That's how I know who you are, what you are, and how deep your faith is. Wow! If you are... <laughs> Okay, that is really okay. I agree. That is Daniel is condemning Linda being so judgmental on pe how faithful people are. Like seriously, that's I could get along with this Islamic view that that's pure cringe. Okay, so in Islam we can't do that because only Allah knows how much Allah knows how much faith you have. But Linda is pretending like she can't. Oh look, even Linda's face has been pixelated because she's you can't we can't see Linda's face. Linda searches face because for Daniel Hagaju standards, Linda is showing too much. This is not modest enough based on um, Daniel's standards. Okay, so her face, she's wearing the hijab, but her face is not covered. That's not Islamic at all. I mean, not Islamic enough for Daniel. So we shouldn't be seeing Linda's face, or else we'll get too aroused and we can't control ourselves. But thank you, Daniel, for preventing us from this sin. Uh, I appreciate that because, as you know, I'm going to burn in hell forever anyways. Uh, we might as well just like, well, no, actually. Yeah, we could reduce it a little bit. I don't want all the fire, you know. But okay, so this is actually pretty bad. I agree with Daniel. Like the idea of her telling people that I could tell how much faith you have based on your actions. I mean, in Islam, that's a very bad thing to say because only Allah knows that. Allahu alam, as they say, right? But even based on our standards, you know, you're basically pretending like you know people. Yeah, I don't like that. A registered voter in the state of Texas. Oh no, this imam is sitting next to next to Linda. Imam, the imam of imams, uh, Zaid um, Shakir, and he's not condemning Linda. So I think based on that, Daniel is going to be like, oh my God, Imam, what the hell are you doing? And you are not going to get up in November and vote against a religious zealot bigot who has won after our community for years. Interesting. If you are not going to vote against Ted Cruz, then yeah. I'm questioning your Islam in this moment. Oh my God. That is so insane. Does Linda not know her Islam? That is a big no no. You can't tell people. You cannot. Did she just take fear every single Muslim that does that doesn't vote Democrat? Yeah, you guys are like people like oh my. Even people, <laughs> the ex-Muslims in the live chat are, <laughs> are 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 having a flashback of Islam. They're getting upset over this. Look at this. <laughs> people are like wow, asak for Allah. <laughs> oh my God. Did she just takfir every single... Okay, did I misunderstand this? Did she just takfir every single Muslim who doesn't vote Democrat? Did she just say that you're not... I'm questioning your Islam? Did she just say that they're not Muslims if they're both Republican? That is insane. Like, you can't do that. Linda, are you, are you a Kharijite? She's, Khar she's one of the Khawarij. By the way, for people who don't know, takfiring is a very controversial thing for you to do in Islam is to tell somebody that they're not a Muslim because of them doing something that you don't approve of. That is a huge red flag. Okay, and this guy is laughing. What's it? I forgot his name. You can't laugh at that. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, that was clipped in. I don't think he was laughing at the moment. Guys, that okay, I cannot stress how big of a deal this is. <laughs> then I'm questioning. Look, he okay, so this imam, he's, he's he's zooming on the face of the imam because he's like he's like, this is not good, Linda, but I don't know how to react. This imam is being put in a difficult position because if he doesn't say anything, he might be look like he's approving of this. This is a major no no in, in Muslim community, like if anybody knows their Islam. Because it's very interesting because I don't know if you guys know, Daniel and people like Daniel have a huge issue with Muslims who push the Muslim community to vote, to vote Democrat, Democrat because uh, the Democrats to the conservative Muslims in the United States, the Republicans are closer to them than the Democrats, right? And the so the liberal Muslims... The so-called liberal, well, I don't know if I, what can I, how could I describe Linda? Based on Islamic standards, liberal Muslims, these are liber, very liberal Muslims, 
who are vote who are pushing other Muslims to go uh, vote Demo Democrat, is they're doing so because this is very interesting. Okay, because the Muslims in the United States have been under have been oppressed, you know, by a lot of bigots, right? So they found a home in the Democrat with the Democrats and the liberals because they were pro-immigration and pro-minority rights. However, the values on the left is in much conflict with Islamic values. So now that the Muslims have a more comfortable life in the United States, because like they're more accepted than like what happened after 9-11, a few years, it was horrible to be a Muslim. You, you were looked at as an outsider. That has died down a little bit. But a lot of conservative Muslims are pointing out that we're closer to the Republicans than we are to Democrats. And you, the people, the Muslims who are inviting uh, more, more Muslims to go left, that's a huge evil. This is like the liberals and the Democrats are destroying the foundation they're not just anti-islam they're 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 against everything that makes the world a better place they're against family they're they're pro-gay rights they're pro-trans rights and daniel wants to unite conservative christians and conservative jewish people and conservative hindus and conservative muslims together to protect family values and all that nonsense basically so this is why he's so much against people like Lindo Sosur. And this clip that here that he just that he has, this is going to do them a major service because this is like a like you're showing like people like Lindo Sosur is going as far as questioning your religion if you don't align with them. And then another thing that they uh, they highlight is that they're doing this for power. This is not about Islam. The Democrats have bought you like they have you're they're giving you influence and money and power and you're selling islam of, to gain power and influence that's the accusation here you're islam in this moment that's then I'm, I'm questioning your islam in this moment Oh my God! That that the idea of saying that that one sentence is going to get her into major trouble. I think I'm questioning your Islam. Who the hell are you? Like I'm offended on behalf of Muslims. Like are you Allah? Who the hell are you to question my Islam? Only Allah, only Allah can judge me, Linda Sarsour. Are you putting yourself in the position of Allah and judging my faith? You're judging my iman. Who do you think you are? Like you're seriously putting yourself in a position that only Allah could hold. I am triggered. My yep. Yeah, you know what the Hindus for were right. This is my Islam is showing. I am triggered. <laughs> oh, yes. Then I'm questioning your Islam in this moment. Oh no, look at this emo, he's clapping. He's clapping is like um his clapping is like I do I clap now? <laughs> like look at that, that's such a <laughs> he doesn't want to clap. Oh my god, Imam, stand up for your religion, stand up for your dean. Why are you clapping? You look you look like you're being pressured into clapping. Is this how you defend your your dean? I will tell them to be like Linda. <gasps> oh no. The Imam said, tell people to be like Linda. And now like the Imam is confirming that. God damn it. <laughs>